University in Arizona, where the heat is real, but the medicine is realer. So here at AT Still University in Arizona, we have a lot of programs. But for our DO program, we call it SOMA, which is School of Osteopathy Medicine in Arizona. For SOMA students, we have one main building. So the campus has four. We stay in this one, 5850. Come on in. So this is the lobby of the main building. This is where you're gonna check in if you have a visitor or go to the library. Shh, some people are studying. The university library consists of various tables and chairs and desks for you to do your studying. The library is open during regular building hours and it also consists of study rooms. So this is our straight A cafe where you come and you get straight A's. But let's be real, you come for coffee. So on days that you're not studying too much, you can come to the back of the straight A, chill, play foosball, lose foosball, whatever. Or, if you really want to, you can take a nap. Great place for you to hang out with your friends and eat, especially on Thursdays where it's your long days. But the best part about Thursdays are food trucks. Welcome to the Student Affairs Office. So inside, you can find a lot of different people, a lot of different resources. One of the best resources here, she's a hidden gem, is Deborah Ross Carter. She'll help you with anything financial aid. Also, you'll find Crystal Hendren, the director over our learning enrichment. So whenever you want to learn uh, how do I best study, she will be the person you want to see. She'll help guide you through that, as well as link you up with the PALS tutor, who is someone who's doing very well or who has done well in the courses, and they'll help guide you to be successful here at SOMA. And inside Student Affairs, we also have Student Life. Now, Student Life puts together a lot of activities for us, like our annual Powder Puff game. Woo <laughs> we took down the defending champs. Well, we lost in the championship. Don't mention that. That was hurtful. <laughs> uh, but anything club related, any kind of extracurricular activity, you definitely want to come talk to them. Welcome to Val. It's the virtual anatomy lab. So this is where we learn about CTs, MRIs, and ultrasound. So not only can we pull up a body and see it 3D, but we can pull different layers of the body up and see every little thing that you would not be able to see on an actual human specimen. So come on up to the cadaver lab. So come on into the cadaver lab. So this is a cadaver lab, AKA wet lab. So you would spend typically uh, about two hours and Mondays and Fridays in the wet lab. So when you go to wet lab, our dissections are pre-dissected. And if you want to participate in that, you can join the dissection club that meets on Wednesdays. So this is where you find all of the models and their skeleton prints. <laughs> This is another area where you find our resources in terms of analysis of anatomy, Grant's Atlas of Anatomy, as well as all of these different binders that correlate to the models so that way when you are studying them, you know which part goes with what. No matter how long you're here, making it to someone's third floor will forever get you out of breath. But one of the best things about being in SOMA is that we have a refrigerator. And that's where we put all of our lunches because and dinners because, let's be honest, we pretty much live here. So welcome to our OMM lab. This is where we learn OMM. We are the DO school, so we do learn to do medicine with our hands, which we call osteopathic manipulative medicine. So this is where we learn, essentially, in a room full of tables. So you have, in a typical day, you're going to have one student be a patient and the other student be a practitioner. And when you start the year off, you're going to start things off with little things, kind of like kneading and stretching, which feels really, really, really good. And you pretty much guarantee to take a nap, which these tables are pretty much meant for, let's be honest. Sleep is very important in med school. Um, and you end the year with things that are a little more complicated, like HVLA, which is what people know is like the cracking and the popping, but you don't necessarily always get cracking and popping like that. There's no crack, no pop. So 
the cool thing about this room, outside of being able to take a nap, <laughs> and what we do here uh, for class, is that after class, we do have OMM Club. And that's where we learn a lot more practical techniques from the professors that may not be able to be taught in class. So things that you do for an ear infection for a kid, or when your sinuses are all gunky. So that's what OMM Lab is for. So this is Cougar. In Cougar, you have most of your lectures, and this is where you'll do orientation and meet for your interview. So at SOMA, we are a 1-3 program, which is very unique to our curriculum. We spend the first year here, all together, and then second through fourth year, you will spend in your specific CHC. Now your CHC stands for Community Health Center, and you'll start second year rotations right there in the Community Health Center assigned to you, which range from DC to Hawaii. You may now begin your clinical encounter. Rebecca? Yes. Hi Rebecca, my name is Kayla Gonzalez. I'm a first year osteopathic medical student. Would you prefer that I call you Rebecca or Ms. Fryer? Rebecca's great, thank you. Thanks. So Ms. Fryer, what brings you in today? I just wanted to show you guys our patient encounter room and where we also do small group. So once a week, you will meet with a patient and you will practice the exams that you learn and they're timed and video recorded. So that when we move to our CHCs next year, we know exactly what to do when we see our first patient. On Fridays, we meet right here as a small group of six to 10 students and one professor, and then we get walked through these things we call small group. There are case presentations based on the course material that we are currently learning. So that's where we pretty much integrate everything that we've learned, all your biochem, your physio, your clinical presentations, all these things, and we get presented with a case. And we work through the case as a group and with the professor like it was being presented to us in the clinic itself. Because let's be honest, that's what being a doctor is, right? So we go through a couple cases and then um, we work through them and we do have some test material that's based on these things, but the most important thing, it helps you pretty much integrate everything that you've learned into real life. So this is the Y and every student on campus here at SOMA has free access to utilize the equipment at the YMCA. So you can come in after a day of studying all day or even after an exam and get access to the full basketball court where you can compete in basketball games as well as play ball. Wait, do you even lift, bro? I do. Well, sort of. Um, we come here about four times a week, five times a week. Depends on how dedicated you are. Health is a really big thing for medical school, so working out is important. Um, but they have a lot of equipment in there, cardio equipment, so they have elliptical bikes. They even have classes like Zumba, spin, yoga, things like that. But most importantly, there's free weights up there. Just don't drop the weights very hard. Within the buildings across the street, one can find the Office of Diversity and Inclusion under the leadership of Mr. Clinton Normore and Mrs. Lizette Romero. Within that same building, one can also find the Osteopathic Medicine Center, Arizona. The center is under the leadership of SOMA's very own faculty member, Dr. Schaup. SOMA first-year students get the unique opportunity to shadow physicians in the clinic so that they may see how to apply the osteopathic manipulative medicine skills that they learn in their OPP course. So thanks for joining us on our virtual tour of ATSO University in Arizona, specifically for our SOMA students. So hope you had a good time with us and hope to see you around. And don't forget the cardinal rule. Don't walk on the grass.